Scanning Electron Microscopy Scanning electron microscopy is a finely focused beam of electrons in order to produce a high resolution image of a sample. SEM images have a three dimensional appearance which is very useful when examining the surface structure of sample. Scanning electron microscope is a type of electron microscope that produces image of a sample by scanning its surface with a focused beam of electrons. This is the schematic of a SEM. SEM uses electromagnetic lenses to focus an electron beam to a sharp point and raster scene across the sample to create images by recording the secondary electrons. The electrons interact with atoms in the sample, producing various signals that contain information about the sample's surface topography and composition. Any sample can be studied in a SEM. It can be a ceramic, metal, or biological specimen. Different types of samples may require different sample preparation steps or requires special imaging conditions in the SEM. SEM was invented by a German physicist Manfred von Aldeen in 1938. Working of SEM Electrons emitted out of a sharp cathode are collimated by a beam limiting aperture to filter out the deviated electrons. The electron beam is def deflected by scan coils to allow raster scanning of the sample. The beam is then focused to a fine spot by the objective lens. Size of the beam spot depends on the factors like beam current, electron energy and working distance. This diagram shows how an SEM works. After the electron beam is focused to a fine spot by the objective lens, a detector detects different signals resulting from the interaction of electron beam and sample. The detector signals are recorded pixel by pixel during the scan and collated to create an image. The interaction of the electron beam and sample produces many different signals that provide wealth of information and finds important applications. SEM signals and applications. The low energy electrons resulting from the inelastic interaction of the primary electron beam with the sample. In a SEM, the electron secondary electrons are important to reveal sample's topography and electrical properties. Backscattered electrons. The high energy electrons which reflect off the sample surface since backscattering efficiency depends on atomic number. It can reveal information on sample's chemical composition. Auger electrons. Filling of an inner shell vacancy of the sample atom is accompanied by the emission of an electron from the same atom. For very thin samples less than 100 nanometer thick, the electrons can pass through the same resulting to the sample resulting in high resolution, dark field and bright field. Scanning Transmission Electron Microscopy STEM. STEM is used for material science and life science applications. History of SEM In 1926, Hans Busch demonstrated that charged particles can be bent in a magnetic field as glass lenses bend visible light. In 1931, Ernest Ruska builds the first transmission electron microscope with resolution higher than a light microscope. In 1933, Ruska and Noll worked on their transmission electron microscope in Berlin. In 1935, Max Noll becomes the first researcher to scan a surface with electron beam to obtain an image with a resolution of approximately 100 mu micrometer. In 1938, Manfred von Aldeen developed the first scanning electron microscope with electron beam focused to a diameter of approximately 10 nanometers and produced an image of zinc oxide crystal at 8000 magnification. In 1940, Manfred von Aldeen differentiated secondary and backscattered electrons and demonstrated that reducing the beam energy improves contrast at the expense of resolution. In 1942, 
Vladimir Zorkin, James Hiller, and Richard Snyder implemented a working SEM instrument with 50 nanometers resolving power. SEM Advantages and Limitations The Advantages SEMs are comparatively easy to operate. Modern SEMs generate data in digital format which is highly portable. Data acquisition is fast. Limitations Samples must be solid and they must fit into microscope specimen chamber. Sample preparation and conditioning may be required from electrically insulated samples for study in conventional SEM. Thank you.